Hello friends and welcome to the unboxing of the Lunt 5350 BP400 Solar Observing Telescope. As you can see the box is quite sizable and this did in fact come inside two other boxes that was extremely well packaged. Um, so I'm very impressed with that. Uh, came all the way from Germany, uh, was well over a thousand pounds currently under 800 pounds plus 50 pounds for the 100 mil dovetail that will allow me to mount it to the tripod and on with the unpacking right we'll get it set down and get the wrapping off uh, the logo is a uh, cactus because the company who make this are based in tucson in the USA. Um, the lens cap is a nice piece of turned aluminium rather than the usual plastic caps. And just adjusting the eyepiece to the right direction. And taking that rather nicely turned lens cap off. This is the etalon end. More of that later. The clamshell clamp on which I put the mount, pressure tuner, helical focus, and the filter diagonal. It's a really nicely put together piece of kit. It weighs about just over two kilos. And I'm just about to put on the uh, dovetail wedge that will allow me to fit it to the uh, equatorial mount I have. Unfortunately, the screws were seemed to be a non-standard hex head, so I did the usual trick of using a slot screwdriver. Um, there's no flat face to the clam, um, so I had to carefully balance the screws up to keep the dovetail parallel to the telescope, uh, because you're going to have enough trouble with drift in daytime anyway using a tutorial mount. And what I'm doing here now is setting the pressure tuner to the right settings for my altitude. Uh, this is as simple as unscrewing the black cap. Basically, it's a piston. Um, take the black cap off. This removes the piston, allows the air to equalize inside to what's where I am, and then just screw the cap back in. And now I'm just popping in a standard eyepiece from my uh, Newtonian telescope, 25mm, uh, uh, super wide angle, um, should work. I've got another specific lens coming, which uh, is a zoom lens and can be focused from 7.2 to about 21.5mm, which should make it very interesting looking at the sun using that. Hopefully, um, my camera will fit without needing any particular spacing adapter to get any back focus on it. Um, so that's a minor issue if needed. Um, I would like to do some astrophotography with it. And we'll look at whether continuing to use my Canon or buying something dedicated may be better. <laughs> Okay, on to some technical jiggery pokery now. How it actually works. A hydrogen alpha solar filter comes in three parts. The main filter is made of two mounted and highly reflective plates called etalon. The two reflectors in the etalon cause light to bounce back and forth in the small space between them. 
when the light waves are the right wavelengths to interfere constructively inside the etalon, they pass through, otherwise they do not. The etalon of a H-alpha solar filter is designed to pass light in a narrow band between 656.3 nanometers. By its nature, the filter will also pass light in multiples of this wavelength because such light will also interfere constructively in the filter. The spectrum passed by the etalon will resemble a comb of wavelengths, only one of which is the true H-alpha wavelength. The unwanted light in the comb from the etalon is removed by a second component, a solar diagonal with an optical blocking filter. The diagonal takes the place in your telescope of an ordinary star diagonal used for night viewing. The solar diagonal passes only the narrow band of light near 656.3 nanometers and rejects all others. The mounted etalon filter and the filtering diagonal work as a pair. You must use both elements to enable safe solar observing. The third part of the uh, system is the pressure tuner. The main part of the scope is a sealed cylinder, so changing the pressure inside it changes the diffractive index. This allows the telescope to be tuned, um, taking into account Doppler effects on the sun, whether um, things are moving towards us or moving away, which changes the wavelength. So the air pressure adjustment helps tune the wave band specifically to see what it is you want to look at on the sun and that's it really it's very simple uh, and hopefully we shall see it work like a charm sunday this weekend is supposed to be sunny here in the uk so i will be having a go and if i can get pictures then i will do so fingers crossed